Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. Oh, and today, mate, cameraman, we're off to a place in Sheffield called Winging It. Now, usually I'm saying, let me know where to go, tell me where the best places are, and I got a phone call. I got a phone call off of an old friend of mine who said, Dan, I am in the Steel City. I am coming home for a couple of days. Do you fancy coming to this place I know called Winging It and having a bit of chicken? I'm talking about no other than my man, Toddler T. Now, some of you may know Toddler. He's worked with some amazing artists over the time. One of them being myself <laughs> for the Christmas songs. So, do you know what, T? I'm going to come see you. We're coming to wing it and we're going to have some food, have a bit of a chat and a catch up and I've got a bit of a gift for him as well. Come on. What does Toddler want for a takeaway? What does Toddler want on his plate? Is it bones? Is it breast? Is it chicken burger? I don't know, but we're nearly here. <laughs> there you go. Remix T. Remix for you. We'll be remixing that up saying you blinking fat idiot. What are you doing? Right. Van's got a bit of a pull today. I think I'm on this hill. It's like struggling to get up. Probably me. I've probably had a few too many uh, burgers over the weekend and it's like, oh, come on, Dan. Come on. Right, we are not far away. It is saying it is just around, it's, where is it? Walkley. Walkley in Sheffield. Right, look, look along here, cameraman. It's along here. What's that there? Cafe Pie. We might have to go there to Cafe Pie afterwards, do another one. Uh, winging it just here, look. Oh, yes, I'm going to go here, reversing. What does Santa want for a takeaway? What does Toddler want on his plate? Is it pies? Is it peas? Is it music for me? Toddler don't know, but he does like cheese. <laughs> Remix. Right, so do you know what? We're going to do things slightly different. I'm going to leave the table in the boot for now and I'm going to go see if he's here. So, right, come on, let's go, let's see what's happening. <laughs> Oh, hey guys! Oh, look at this, it's a toad knacker cracker away. And let's go see if he's here. Right, here we go. Winging it. Here we go. Oh, here he is, look. Oh, yeah. Let's go see. How are we doing? Back on the road. Uh, yes! <laughs> Big part of the chef for you. I'm hungry. Well, we're winging it. Winging it, right. Wing so, it. let's get him mic'd up first because I'm, I'm sure you've grown. That's what people keep telling me. Uh, I've been working on the posture. What's Annie been feeding you? Um, nothing. Maybe that's what it Let's is. Let's get that up here somewhere. Where's this going? In here, yeah. Well, you're sound, man. So, we've come to Steel City. That's where from we the are. Tea, from the Steel that's City. Me. I love it. <laughs> right, and I've got your gift. Oh, no, don't. All right. Yes, mate. I think this is already like. I went Sheffield United match last night, actually. Yeah. Yeah, man, you. We'll yeah. not talk about but, the result, but. I've got one better. And I thought, being a Barnsley fan, but because I like you. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get myself one of these bad boys. Oh! Get my belly out. Have you got one of that? Yeah! Right. Yes. Bless you. Active. So my mate makes all these, and I got him to do me a special one. I need to put it on now, don't I? Yeah, and I changed the badge, right? Oh, but, you did. But, but look at the date as well. Right. How did you know that that was all my, in my year of birth? Google's a magical Google. place. Google. Google has patterned it up. Yeah. I can't, I can't lie about my stage age anymore. There you go. And do you know what? I'll be totally honest with you. Right, I was gutted because I wanted to get, I love all, all your artwork, mm. what your kids do. Yeah. Right, and it just, we just could not get it to yeah. come out right on the printing. Yeah, shape. but you know what? They, my kid did that yeah, logo, yeah. and he did that. Yeah. Shout to Machine. So, but I wanted to get the, 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 the picture. Oh, you know, of, the, yeah. of the factory and that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, bless you, man. That's so kind. Let's get it on, man. But yeah. I've got to be careful flexing my... Uh, this is it. That's it. We're going to start eating yeah. wings and the results will This change. is it. <laughs> going to get them down here for eating wings and then they're going to start winning. <laughs> but, but to be fair, last night, obviously we were an emotional game. Yeah, of course. With what happened. Yeah. And, and, and to be fair, to Sheffield United, I think that the draw should have... It, it should have been a draw. It should have been a draw. You know what I did last night? Yeah. I sat in the posh seats in the director's box. Don't judge me, that's the first time I've ever done it in my 35 years plus going Sheffield United. But they've got heated seats. And you like them. Oh. Heated seats at football. Sorry, so we've just like rocked in here and having a conversation, but we do want some food if that's all right. Hey mate, you all right? Can I have a picture? With me or toddler? No, with you. <laughs> with you. With you. <laughs> Cheers, darling. All right, no worries, mate. Take care, Cheers. pal. <laughs> 
See, it went king off. of the north, right now. Yeah, it went off. Big Danny. Right, winging it. So, listen, last time I came here, I went in on the Hendo's vibe. Because mm -hmm. you know about Henderson's relish, of course. Yeah, 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 oh, of course I know. They do a Hendo's interpretation of a chicken wing, which I've never seen anywhere else on the planet. Where's that? Which one's that one? The Northern Fried one. The Northern, well, it's got yes. to be a Northern Fried one, hasn't it? Yeah. It has to be. It's got to be. It's got to be a Northern oh. Fried. So for them that don't know about Endos, it's a Sheffield-based, made and family-owned relish that only really exists in this city. I've never seen it outside. No. Well, I, I think we should try boneless and fried. Mm. Yeah. And I'm quite, and, I, and I'm quite, being drawn to a tiger style as well. Let's go. Tiger style does sell really well. It's yeah. Almost, if not almost popular. Same with them. Do you want just? Do you want fries and a drink with any of them, or just want them? I'm ready, I'm ready for some fries and a drink. Yeah. So yeah. fries and a drink. Yeah. Do you want large, medium? Well, small. I'm like, well, I want to get some, a few things off the menu to try it. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want any of them? Do you want all of them in like medium? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we do these first ones. Yeah, because I mean, it's not as if he's going to waste away, is it? What do you mean? <laughs> look, look at you, mate. About, I'm, I, I'm trying to lose leave, this. What for you putting three foot on? I'm trying to lose this. Yeah, it's hard what? work here. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but this, this is your job. This is your life. I've not seen me toes for six months. Yeah, but that's <laughs> the sacrifice you give. <laughs> it is. Uh, so I'm thinking about get some fries. Yeah. Mac and cheese bites look good. Oi, oi. It's got red chilli fireballs as well. Spicy and non-spicy. Let's just go for them. Yeah. Mm, up and running. Yeah. yeah. We've got to try some deep south gravy. What does that mean? Oh, Don't tell me it's going to be liquor. It's made with all the chicken now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's like the gravy's made with all the chicken juice. Yeah. And it's really well, there we've got deep south gravy. We need yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'll pop that on. So what are the Collie wings? wings. Mm -hmm. Collie wings. Ooh, Cauliflower ones, ones, right? You want tiger as well, don't you? You want them um, boneless and normal as well? Yes, please. Yeah. And then what about some salt and pepper collie wings? Sounds good to me. Because you've got to, because you'll get told off. Annie will have a go at you if you don't have something that she'll be able to eat. Exactly, and also a bit of you know. This is it. What have we got? So we've got medium boneless northern fried with fries and whatever drink you'd like. Um, northern fried normal wings and medium with fries and whatever drink yep. you'd like. Red chili, chili fireballs, mac and cheese bites, gravy. Tiger style medium boneless, tiger style medium normal wings, and then a salt and pepper medium collie. Yeah, Vibe. that'll do because yeah. we've gone way above what I usually go for. Because yeah. it was like three or four dishes, but I've got a guest on, we're pushing it up. So, how much is that though? 70 30. 70 30. Yeah, it's like, it's like I split this. It's just a bit like <laughs> it's a party. You get space. 70, I get 30. That, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why he's coming in here with bling on <laughs> and eating seats. <laughs> yeah. If 70 pounds is enough to feed a, a lot, a nice family meal. Yeah, so we've got a lot of food there. Yeah. So, I'm going to go. Grab my table and chair. He, he, cameraman's lit his head, he's like, what's he doing? I want to go grab my table and chair. We'll be back with you in a bit and we'll get tea set up out here. See you in a bit. Cheers. Right, <laughs> come on, let's grab it. We'll grab you one of these posh heated seats. Heated seats, yeah. All right. The temperature's OK. I've spoke to the chef. I said, if it gets too cold, he's going to come out with blow torch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. So... It was mad, though. Heated seats here. and football, man. It's that is madness. He's off. Yeah. And the, uh, he's chatting. If you want to have a seat, I'm going to go grab my table. Right. Just in, in, in my, my wonder van. See? Nicely this warm. This is it. We're in Walkley now. This is classed as Walkley, isn't it? This area. What drinks do you want? What drinks do you want, Danny? Uh, I, I'll have a water. I'll have a... Just get to... What would you drink of water? I'll have a bottle of water, Two please. Two waters, please. Right. Bless you. Yeah, this is Walkley. And I went to my secondary school. King Edwards was like a couple miles that way. So I had a lot of friends around here, but I grew up in Park Hill, which is the other side of the city. So even though it's far from where I live, I do have good memories of this area. Um, <laughs> just for, oh, here okay, it is. Is this yeah. the original? This is the original. The original. So you've you been at this one before? Yeah, bro. Jeez. I just look, look at the state of it now. It's absolutely smashed Yeah, but in. that's good though. It shows use and passion. Yeah. And so what we'll do, spirit. We'll get this here. And then if you want to get there, and then I'll get here, and hopefully we can still let people past. Perfect. <laughs> Roadside business. Well, are we gonna, or shall I go here? Could you, could you film in that Literally. way? Literally, again. Between <laughs> two cars. <laughs> this is how you like to dine in Walkley. So if you go there, how's there, that yeah. cameraman? And then I go to the other side. Beautiful. 
and then when it comes to it full time, right, let me do chair test, put an cracker with it. See, state of this, look at state of that chair, that is going to go soon. Yeah, but that's, Woo! again, that just shows spirit. I that, do, I've that, done one. <laughs> it's gone. Right. Oh, here we go. So in Sheffield, what a day as well. I know, it's very funny because the last few days were like typhoon business. Yeah, but we're like mid October. Yeah, and it's like. And it's like this. It's like Barbados. So Annie's out with kids, she is, turning yeah. around Sheffield. Yeah, good thing about Sheffield is that you don't really appreciate it as a kid. Well, I didn't, was you can drive 10 minutes and you're in beautiful countryside. Yeah. She's out there with children while we're at Winging It. Yeah, it's yeah. A good, it's a good deal for me. So, yeah. Winging It, you've asked me to come here. Yeah. What's what's so good about it? What do you like about it? The menu's like wide, Yeah. but there's some moments that are really unique to Sheffield. Well, obviously, like you were saying about like the Hendersons. Yeah. The, the Tiger one looks good. That yeah. looks all right. Korean sauce. Are you wanting to go past, love? Oh, you want to get in? You stood at the front door, cameraman. Get in, told love. Just say, look, <laughs> move out of way. You're in Sheffield now. Look, she'll, she'll do you. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, we, we've known each other for a while now. We have. It's been a joy. We've had some, uh, you know, exciting times. For Definitely. What we've done. But I want to ask you, should we do another one this year? You up for it? A Christmas song? Yeah. I think it'd be disrespect to not do one. Yeah, yeah. Can, so, we, can we shake on it right yeah, now? Yeah, we're going to shake on it. So we're going to do another Christmas song. Because I'll be honest with you, my fans have been absolutely banging at me to do one. People ask me about right, mate. the, the rate right, my takeaway tune now more than my own music. I've created <laughs> a beast that's backfired. It's all about him now. Well, I'll be honest with you, mate. When you watch this back, you're going to, I've done a remix. Of I've what? I've been driving up here and I've been going, what does Toddler want for the takeaway? <laughs> don't play, don't play. What does what Toddler want on his plate? Is it chicken? Is it bees? Is, is it, it winging it? <laughs> Steez. So this is it. I think we have to do a remix at some yeah, point. Yeah, definitely. Uh, no, it's a joy. So yeah, so we'll get that planned and we'll get that sorted. Can't wait now. This is it. I think we need to like get it in the diary ASAP because Christmas yeah. is like nine weeks away. Yeah. Today well, I've or actually something. been asked to do Bradford Light Switch on without radio so it makes sense if we can try and do it get and it ready next for week, so is that next week no. <laughs> <laughs> look it's like no man <laughs> and tell me something is that how far is that like four weeks i think it's is it 12. so we need to get it studio yeah. realistically next two weeks so obviously the first song it will have upbeat jolly one what does santa want for a takeaway and then last year we did the we, we, we put all his eggs in the basket of the england football team for world cup and then they just sort of blasted it away for us because they got kicked out. Well, it happens, doesn't it? But there were two concepts. So this year we need to kind of figure out what we're going to do, yeah. don't we? So if you guys have got any ideas on what sort of song we should be doing, we've got to do all this pretty quick. So get it in the comments. Tell us, all right, and we'll, we'll see. You never know. We might, there might be something that somebody comes up with. I've had a lot of people send me songs before. Really? So since we've been doing this, there's people been... Uh, emailing in different songs people have done a few beats ideas and that and then people have used my uh, little clips off, of, off, off of this like oh, put knack and crack it away <laughs> and they've mixed it in mixed it around <laughs> yeah get ideas in comments and we'll try and incorporate them on day it's always yeah. fun to do that and, and if it's H our song then you know if h is knocking about tell him he can come have cameo H E, get out your maybach car yeah yeah Get, the t get to the table. Get to the table. And who knows? Get to the table. <laughs> uh, if you want to be famous, H, am you, man? I used to, it was funny yesterday at Max because <coughs> my mum came and she used to take me in the 90s like freezing. Yeah. And we've sat down and we've put on the heated seat and that was it. That was the moment. I've made it. Yeah. I'm at lane with a heated seat. Don't get me wrong though, next time I'm going back on cop it, we're a one-off. Yeah. So I'm, I'm off to the Barnsley game on Tuesday. Wicked. But do you know what it is? You know, I love about it is that uh, no matter what we do, whatever path that we choose in life, but when you've got a passion for the place that you live, the city that you live in, or the town that you live in, you know, the, the football clubs, they get behind you as a person as well. Yeah, totally. It's like you obviously with the promotion. Yeah. You want bus, mate. I was watching that and I was buzzing. And yeah. again, it didn't phone me up. I'm, like, I'm half an hour down the road. It's, it's not saying, look, Dan, do you want to come and have a... No. Someone else. Yeah. That was a moment for me. It was a DJ on Sheffield United promotion bus yeah. when we went up. Because it's all my worlds colliding, like as a kid being absolutely obsessed with Sheffield United, then getting into music and then it all coming back into yeah, one. Yeah. But it's like you say, it's like 
that love from a community that comes from sport, it's like a unified thing. Yeah. And when you're playing and everyone's looking up at you, it's not love for me or them, it's for everyone. Yeah. And it was like one of the best things I've ever been involved in. Yeah. Easily. And, and do you know what that Hiya guys. That's, sorry guys. You're like, sorry. No, you're going no, right. You're all right. No, it's all right. Squeeze away. We're just here waiting for some food at Winging It. The vibes are up. Pick up yourself. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. mate. Thank Cheers, you. Pal. Right. They're available from his merch shop. <laughs> we'll talk, we'll talk to it. To just later. I hope I don't get in trouble off Sheffield United. No, they won't like, do. I'll sort it. They'll be like, you've, you've, you've ripped his badge off. You've no, they can't. They can't. Yeah. Don't worry. But, but you know, it, it's all it's all out of respect for you and Sheffield United. And, uh, yeah, and like I say, when, when I saw that video and you were on top of that bus and, and you, you, you're dead, I thought at one point we're going to come off your shoulders and it was like watching kids at Christmas when they've got that present. Speaking of Sheffield United, hey, up the blades. who's your favourite player? Uh, Fodrick. Yes, Fodrick, you can pick up yourself, <laughs> have a good day. Go on, hey, sorry. But it is, it's like, you know, you're like a kid at Christmas. Literally, it was yeah. like that. It was like, I didn't, and the thing is, when I got asked to do it, I was nervous, of course, and I took time to get the prep right. And I, when I'm going in, I was kind of going into this autopilot to make sure it were right. Yeah. But when I got up and we moved and you, all players were around me and the city was giving that energy, it, were like, it was like a proper pinch myself moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah and I've had a few of them myself. Obviously, where you've got is, is totally different to me. You know, you, you've worked all your life to get where you've got in this mm. industry and you've, yeah. and you've worked damn hard to get there. Whereas with me, I'm just some fat jolly guy that were flinging, <laughs> flinging re metre down at back of a van no, in Leeds it's... Market. But, and, then I, and then I've gone on to YouTube and people have, have taken to me and, mm. you know, I'm, I'm fortunate that I've been able to do some amazing things, work with some amazing people like yourself. Mm. Uh, you know, I've done a bit of TV, a bit of radio, obviously the YouTube being, being to America and doing all this. And, you know, sometimes you get to do things like you've done there with the bus. Mm. I did stuff like when I did uh, meet and greet from Macmillan and stuff like that. That was just that was just so like a personal thing. Coming. Yeah, yeah. Of course. People coming to see me, but there were people coming that were suffering life. Yeah. And it just makes you think. To, you, you take a step back, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. Think? yeah. I know. At some, when I first met you, mm. uh, if you don't mind me saying, uh, you had a bit of a struggle with social media. That's right. And you were you, it were like proper messing with your head. Absolutely, yeah. And and, and you were like having time out. You yeah. You weren't going on it. You couldn't do it. Uh, but now you seem to have got a bit of a bit more structure in yeah there. yeah yeah so basically with my thing with social media was like there was a few things but the main thing was like access so like someone is totally entitled to call me at it yeah or to say my new tunes rubbish that's fine yeah. but when you've got your phone in your pocket it's and 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 it's like a any time that could, energy can reach you yeah and i i struggle with like barriers of that so i'll just be on it and then I, one little thing can just like and then your head goes right yeah yeah so what i how i do it now is i've just got firm thing it's like i've got an amazing team shout to hannah and the crew and i give them videos and that yeah and they get it up for me and then i can show people what's going on but then i don't have to like necessarily like delve into the forum aspect yeah, of it yeah yeah and, and that's to be honest that's a bit similar to me so like on the rate my takeaway side the, the cameraman and the editor, they sort of take care of all the comments when it when it goes live. Yeah. We've got a team of, of, of moderators on there that take care of it. Uh, because sometimes people are nasty, people of can course. get nasty and it, it does affect you. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So yeah. Queen, but it's nice to see that you've now got a team in place. Yeah, that's the, that's the way I have to do it for me personally yeah, in my yeah. head. Everyone's different, some people don't care. Yeah. Yesterday we could see my new players get off bus yeah right and there were hundreds of people going ah, woo, woo, and they're just walking through like warriors if that were me i'd be like oh my god the sheffield <laughs> guys all like so everyone's <laughs> different in it but for me personally i need yeah. a little a little barrier between well, myself happened, so what's happened with me is, is obviously it, it, it was like a bit of a slow burn and then all of a sudden it just went bang yeah and then i found myself i mean white rose choppy center and people are coming up wanting photos i'm like what are you doing yeah right why are you wanting a picture of me why yeah. this and then like now, it's I, I, I was walking somewhere the other day and this, this young lass, I think she's 18, 19, started crying. Really? And she saw me, she's like, oh my God. And yeah. uh, I, I, I spent 10 minutes talking to her and basically the reason why she got so upset and emotional is her mum had passed away. Right. And they used to sit and watch my videos together. Right. Uh, but her mum passed away shortly after watching a video. Right. And they'd had so much joy out of it. Yeah. Uh, they knew that obviously she, she, she won't gonna last long and she was just saying that because I, I was worried then and I thought oh is this gonna be a bad thing and she was saying I just want you to keep doing what you're doing yeah 
because you give people so much joy and that's nice absolutely it's, in a way it becomes a duty yeah and that's the same way you with your music yeah. so like obviously you you you, you tune with, with h and tape mate mm. that when, when you sent me that you said have a listen to this i will buzzing it's up your street the reason why that tune's special to me is because the sample on it is a sheffield rave tune yes. from the 90s yes that were big with my sister's generation so like it's like revisiting that for a new yeah. gen well like 96 97 mate i went out clubbing i right. went out of these raves i remember old mecca bingo in barnsley see it there <laughs> yeah all you'd see is bottles of water on the floor people yeah. coming out they look like goats yeah. at night like goats you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First train. So we've like proper over ordered here. <laughs> nope. So what is this? What's going on? So salt and pepper. Lovely. Salt and pepper. And then these are both the tiger. So they're normal tiger, so they've got bones. Boneless yeah, tiger. tiger. Boneless northern. So I'm and gonna then, put them there so we know what they are. Yeah, boneless and bone. No, that's fine. They can collie. Boneless that, that yeah. Co collie, yeah? Yeah. yeah that's All right. They're northern. Yeah, yeah, boneless, I'll get the rest. They're, they're normal mac, mac and cheese, they're fiery red ones. Chili fireballs. Amazing, thank you. Chili fireballs. Way, fiery. And we've got some more coming. So, as you know, guys, usually I do, I do two or three dishes, but I got a bit excited with tea, and he's like, you've got to try it. So, we're here to try it. This is the meal for the day, isn't it, Danny? It smells nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Really good. And last time I came, I took some out because there were too much and I ate it the next day and it was equally well, as brilliant. I, I think you're going to be taking some home tonight. I think I'm going to be taking the full family yeah, platter home. Yeah, like that. And it, love. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so Grandparents, everything. Yeah. So this has cost, when the rest comes out, it's cost us 70 quid. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're going to be taking some home tonight. I think I'm going to be taking the full family. Yeah. All right. Now, so far, we've got six dishes on there. Yeah. So that's not, you know, that's, that's, that's if you, totally so if you were down, down, over, down south, Oh, mate. What would you be talking for this? Oh, my days, look at this. I've got another tray as well. We can you, put the in. Oh, <laughs> bless you. The gravy, all important. Oh, yes. So we've got... And then this is the normal the no northern. No, so gravies. that's it. So we've got the northerns there, look. Two gravies. There we go. Bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Wicked. Oh, we've got Sammy the Wasp here as well. Wasp, oh okay. <laughs> I always get one. Look, she's running off. There's always the one wasp that comes and gets me. Wow. Look at this gravy, though. It's Rare I'm going to have a sniff. I, I, I drink it, mate. Yeah, I bet you do. It's like a bob Ooh, roll. Oh, yes. That's, yeah. that's, what it, that's, what it, that's what it smells like, like a bob roll. Straight in. We're going to try a chip. Let's go. Let's go in with chips. So we've got some skin on fry. Oh, oh, yeah. Bad. Chips and gravy. Big fight. Oh. That's amazing. So you don't have to eat your hands, I've got some cooks. There we go. Look at this, thank you very much, thank you. Um, and then we have a wingonese dip. A what, wingonese? Wingonese, it's like a Cajun mayo. Right. Um, barbecue Top. and garlic mayo. Bless you, Wingonese, yeah. barbecue and garlic mayo. Garlic mayo. And forks, napkins. There we go, guys. There you guys. go, forks. We're up north, we're not you. use forks up here. Let's <laughs> <laughs> use it, we've got forks. I'm honestly think in London you'd add 50 quid, at, le at least. At but least. That's about three and a half quid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm no. not being funny. <laughs> no, no. Water is more... I, I went down there, right, and uh, with my caravan got a pint, and I said, I'll have a bottle of water. And the water costs more than the pint of beer. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, what the heck is going it's on? It's unrealistic down there at the minute. Right. It's horrible. But anyway, conversation with a different day. Wet the whistle. Let's get into this roll. So we've got skin on fries. These are nice. This and has crispy. got this wingonese vibe. Whoa. Getting on that. Right, where do I even start the, like, right, these, these, here, these are you? the Endo's ones, aren't they? So these are the Henderson Relish. Mm. Northern fried, yeah. Northern fried, look at that, nice and crispy. I'm going to go for this now. Oh, man. Very good, isn't it? Got a nice little tang, it's like a, I need Worcestershire sauce. Mm, it was the type <laughs> of vibe. Ship it on the proper soft though, isn't it? Yeah. So that guys. <laughs> wow. 
Not but bad. when I first went DJ into America in like, or North America in like 2008, we got, the first show was in Toronto, right? And the promoter took us to this place called Duff's. You know Duff's beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simpsons, Simpsons and that. yeah. It was something to do with that, right? And Buffalo is upstate from there, and that's where Buffalo sauce comes from. Right. So that the wing thing in Toronto was massive. But at the time, there were no wing places in Sheffield, or England, really, right. compared to what it is now. And I had this grand vision of opening one in Chef. Obviously, I never did. Yeah, yeah. But JJ went and done it. And he's done it like this. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to try the boneless one now. Yeah, yeah, good, good call. Let's go. Because that looks like it's soaked up quite a bit of the sauce mm. in the coating. Oh, yeah. Finger days. Do you know what? I, I like them. Right with it. Northern pride. I like them. With pride. Now, I'll be honest, like when I do a bolognese, I'm cooking a bolognese at home, I add Henderson's relish. Yeah, done there. And it gives it that bit of bite, doesn't it? Yeah, man. But the, with this gravy, you can, you can put it on out, really. Oh, wow. That gravy's wicked, isn't it? It's a southern style gravy. <laughs> got a right nice little tang to it. Yeah, it's got a kick in it. Right. Right, where are we going next, King? I'm going to get this out of the way. <laughs> the cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it out Not of the your way. Favorite. Then I'm meeted up, so I'm going to go for this nice. Do you know what? It, I would say, living with a vegan, it's, it grows on you after yeah, a bit, of it? and you get used to it. But it's the flavour of what you can get into vegetables now. But that's that's the task, isn't it? Thing. For, for Ooh, people. That nice. It does smell good, actually. Yeah, very good. It's got a tongue, isn't it? Yeah. That, that coating... Bad. It's amazing. Holly. Cauliflower. Wing. Salt and pepper. Salt, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Have like a Chinese vibe. Give some vibe. Cauliflower wing. And then you can oven it up with some gravy. <laughs> Aye. Look at that. Now, now Northern it up. Now it's a Sheffield cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Sheffield cauliflower. That is bang. Oh, so good. Because the thing is about this spot is like, it's deep fried, right? But yep. it, it doesn't feel greasy. It's smooth. That's why you can eat so much, which is... So sometimes I prefer, I prefer grill wings. Yeah. But when you get them fried like this, and like you say, they're not dripping, mm. full of grease and oil and all that, that's what's the difference is, and I like it because it's crispy. Yeah. And then when the sauce soaks into it, you've got a nice little bite. I'm looking forward to these, but I'm going to try these mac and cheese balls now. Yeah, which one? Let me go for a regular one first. I'm going to go for regular. Look at them. So they look like what kids will be throwing through a window at Sheffield <laughs> around here. Think about a dumpling. Yeah, it's coming up to mischievous night, isn't it? They're yeah. like lobbing these don't, at your head. Don't open the door, you get one of these. I'm going to crack it open. A winking at mac and cheese ball. So yeah. open your door. So I'm going to pull this open, come on, and see what we've got. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a nice bit of a cheese pull there as well. Oh, yes. Very good. Oh, my days. That's amazing. Oh, get it in this gravy. Oh. When you've got a tub of gravy, you just can't help but dip, can oh, That is amazing. Oh, I never had God. these before. Very good. Do you know Mac what? and cheese balls, you know. Solid. That's the kind of thing I can see you when, when you're sat there at your computer and you're mixing it up <laughs> and you're just about to get that big hit in and you're like, grab one of them, <laughs> bang, yes, and you're on. Yeah, that's the I'm going to have a pile of these next to my laptop on Monday yeah. making shoes. <laughs> oh, right. So good. Fiery time? Fiery time. Go on then, D. Right, you're doing fiery time. All right, for, <laughs> excuse me. Right, fiery season, let's go. I'm going to take a couple of chillies off though. Oh yeah, right. got too much veg. <laughs> Too much veg. Five a day, that's what I say with my kebabs. I get a five a day when I have a kebab, I put salad on it. <laughs> right. Active. Mmm, wow. Oh. Different vibe altogether. It's that sauce, isn't it? Yeah, it's mad. Oh. Very good, though. Again, not, not greasy, though, like clean. Also, I think there's a bit of, they've got a bit of chilli in there as well in the cheese. There's a bit of, bit of peppercorn there or something. Five Yeah. But look, look at how cheesy these are. Again, dip them in that southern gravy. 
Oh, wow, amazing. It's all about gravy today, isn't it? No, it's gravy day. It's all gravy. But all gravy, JJ. <laughs> these are obses obsessional, I think, them mac and cheese balls. Wow. So, if I'm honest, I usually stay away from spicy stuff. But that, it's got a nice zing. It's like a zingy vibes, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that hot, it's more a zingers. If you get the, the chilies in there, mm. but it has got a nice little bit of heat, bit of a throat tickler. What's the hottest <laughs> thing you've ever eaten? Oh, I had some like like naga wings and stuff like that. In America? No, it was in, uh, I think one of them were, were in Leeds. Right. Like these, oh. The, like record breaking. Uh, I nearly died. Yeah. And then I've had, I've had other stuff where, uh, another one, I thought I'd were leaving the hottest one to last. So I ate this thing. And then as I went, moved on to the next one, the heat just suddenly crept up on me and the insides I thought I were going to die. Oof. I were on fire. The, the, the other problem is, as we know, it's the, it's the other process. Yeah. It's the intro exactly. and the exit. And it burns. I know. It burns up way out. Yes, it's like, so once <laughs> you've got through the first bit of trauma, there's a second, anyway. Yeah. Different day, different convo. Right then. Let's go. So now we're on to, so this is, the, the reason why I chose these tiger ones and I saw this is because when I've been going around doing these wing places, because it's like a Korean style sauce. Right. This is like becoming a lot of people's favorite. Okay. Because I think it's a bit of a cross between like a zingy barbecue and you get a little bit of heat. So I'm going to try this. But this has got seaweed on it. <laughs> on it. Seaweed straight out of the Look river down. Look at the seaweed. Bit of Sheffield weed here. Yeah. It's like, Jay Jay's <laughs> ah, That'll do. So Yorkshire man, right, when I was a kid, I don't know about your tea, but in Yorkshire, fishing, big thing. When I was a kid, it would get down to the pit pond. Or go fishing dyke. Ah, uh, you know I mean? Yeah, it's standard. <laughs> chuck, net, chuck keep net in. Eh, catch a couple of roach or something like that and you throw them back. Well, I've never had none of this seaweed stuff. Must, have, must be posh round here. But you think. Oh. Nice. Clean again. Sweet. Clean. Just clean like. That chicken. So look at the. You've got a nice bit of white fillet there. And a nice crunchy coating. Clean. Wow. The only way I can describe it is clean. Yeah. Just like crispy, not much grease. Wow, right. Lovely. Bone on. Bony one, yeah. With seaweed. Wow. Seaweed and onion. But it's proper seaweed, that look. Bumps in it. Mm. Bang it. Look at that. Very good. You know what's funny? I've, I've been trying to get back into fishing. Yeah, not, mm. not a thing. Because I just think it's like, it's very good because you just like, you cast, it's you, the water, yeah. and time is up to them. Where nowadays everything's on your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's like, as you call it, you're casting memories because you're just going to sit and be yeah. tranquil. We're still. Mm. Mm -mm. But then we kids sometimes they'd be like, yeah, well it's not happening here. Yeah. And I'd be like, I'm yeah, bored. I forgot to put bait on Sonny. <laughs> 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 That's the point, kid. So wow. well we, we could we could go over the little story about fishing if you want. Let's go. Talk to me. And this could like some people have heard it before, but a lot of people ask me why don't I like sweet corn? Why? Why is it the devil's food? Yeah. Because uh, I, I have let it out and I can remember. So when I was I think I was about eleven. Went fishing with me and my mate down at Darfield Pit Bum. Rainy day. And for bait, we had maggots, uh, lunch of meat, bread and sweet corn. Right. Right. So I'm sat there, and my mate went, here, Dan, look at this. And he got a piece of bread, he put lunch of meat in it, sweet corn, and then he grabbed an handful of maggots and took them in, folded it, bit into it, opened his mouth, and all I could see was maggots pushing sweet corn out. Oh, yeah. So that, since that day... Yeah, that makes sense then. I cannot eat it because it physically just... Bleh. Yeah. And I once went to America and I, and I had something like this, which I thought, well, I could nug it. I bit into it with a sweet corn ball and nearly threw up. Yeah. But oh. It, them, them things last. So I call it devil's yeah. food. Don't like it. It's put me off it for life. It stinks. <laughs> so... Sweet corn stinks. I'm going <laughs> to... <coughs> it's horrible. Uh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly go through it. Right, let's go. So chips, skin on fries, Cooked to perfection for me. You yeah. can see they've got a nice colour to them. They're nice and crispy. They're exactly what you want in a skin-on fry, and they're a quality one. They're seasoned really, really well. But then, 
you move on to the Southern Gravy, and oh my days, I don't know about you, but that is just like... That's the slam dunk, innit? Yeah, you, you can Zoom. dip it, tip it. You know what? I'm going to drink of it. Winging it, Bonfrel style. Oh, very good. It's like a right peppery taste. <laughs> <your throat>. right. <laughs> Warm you up. Then what else we got? Your choice. The Northern Wings. These are the boneless, they're the bone ones, right? Boneless, bone. I'm going to get this look at that. So it's just full Henderson's relish. These have got a right nice crispy coating. The coating on these chicken wings, right, he's absolutely nailed it so for good. me with the flavour. These different flavours, I have never seen an Henderson. That's what I mean. Seasoning, never. But it's used in a lot Rare of food. Good, yeah. that kind A of lot sweet. of professional kitchens use it, they add it to things. Just to put it on these chicken wings just brings them to the next level. Salt and pepper cauliflower. Salt and pepper cauliflower, yeah. This was the one you were least looking forward to, right? Because of the vegetable aspect. Yeah, but I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the tastiest on there as well. Oh, there you go. Converted. Yeah. Danny Manlin, now a cauliflower man. Is, Thanks yeah. to winging it. I'm a big cauliflower here. Headlines. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah. interesting, like. They, they are, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They're not like biting into cauliflower like you'd expect. It's got way yeah. more of a vibe on is it. I don't know how they do it. Usually when I have cauliflower, it's just smothered in gravy. And it's like one, two, three. <laughs> Get it down. <laughs> I don't even need to put it in the gravy. Yeah. Then we moved on to these perfectly round balls. <laughs> They've got these absolutely smashing. Yeah, these are great. The mac and cheese and then the spicy one. The so spicy good. one has got a nice bit of spice going through it, inside it, but they're just full of cheese, but the crumb coating on there is delicious. And like I said, that's something that I can see too. When, when you've actually seen him work, right, what some of his TikToks you see, and it sits at his desk and it's like this, and you get moving and you get your vibe on. And, and then... then Bang! Yes! Woo! Boom! That's it. That's it. He's off. He's number one it coming up. Here we go. <laughs> so this is it now. Very good. Wing it is going to have to fly down. So tease him with gravy. Look, you, you just can't put that away, can you? This is like my next two days. Yeah. Just slowly because chip, I, chipping well, away. So when I've done filming, I don't eat no more. I know you said, yeah. Yeah, so you're welcome to take this. I'm going to. On the on the on the journey back down, and he's gonna be like, "What is that smell?" <laughs> he's gonna be like, <laughs> "The smell." Pardon? Yes, please. Please. Yeah, I need to pay the bill, but I want to know how much it all is. Right. So. Here we go. If you have wings on the room, yeah. Small is eight, a medium is ten, or a large is eleven. But if you have a meal, like you've done a medium meal, it's thirteen ninety. Right. Comes fries and a drink. So that 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 and that is thirteen ninety. Yes. And um, then that on its own, how much is them? So the wings on their own are a tenner. Right. Um, and then the originally five balls or the mac and cheese bites are a fiver a piece. Right, so they're a five at each, these are a tenner, and then we've got two meals in. That, that is bang on. Yeah. And how much is the gravy love? Uh, two £2.50. £2.50 £2. £2. for, 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 yes. yeah. <laughs> for a ball of heaven. Yes. For a ball of home, I tell you something. Homemade heaven. Yeah. Well, in a dish. tell Chef he's going to have a new home after today. <laughs> he's living with me. Yeah. He's moving in. Thank you. Thank you, love. So there you go, guys. 70 quid. Uh, to be honest, 13 quid for that, that, and a, and a drink is bang on. Yes. And it's but good, good food, like. Fiver, and then they're 10 quid. I'd pay that, because it's yeah, quality. I do. We didn't talk about these. Uh, tiger. So these are the tiger ones. We've got a bit of seaweed on. We've got a mixture of uh, sesame seeds. We've got a bit of spring onion. But it's like a Korean sauce. <coughs> Sweetness. With a little bit of heat running through, but again... Bone and boneless. They're boneless ones, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. You know what? That, that seaweed, it's weird, isn't it? Because it goes with that sauce, and you can taste it straight away, but then it goes... Yeah, that's what seaweed can be quite, like, strong at first, and it kind of dis evaporates in your mouth. Yeah. Mad, isn't it? I like that. So... Now I have to rate it, T. You're going to rate it, yeah? It's your turn. It's your turn. This is where I eat when I come home, so... This is it. And I'm going to be honest, everything on here has absolutely... It's tickled my taste buds. Blow me away. The gravy is amazing. The fact that she's saying it's homemade, bang on. The chicken, the coating on the chicken is bang on. The flavours that's coming out, each individual dish, just sort of awoken my taste buds, if you like, and got me going. Price-wise, for nowadays, I think it's absolutely spot on, and I think it is quality gear for what you're getting. 
So if you've been here guys, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down, try it out. But for me, it's gonna be a nice, easy, solid 10. And don't forget, we've shook on it. There's gonna be a new Christmas single coming. Get it downloaded. All right, tell us what you think it should be. Download it, let's get it to number one. Woohoo! Thank you very much, T. At ya. <laughs> Yeah. Right, Lovely, thank you very much. And it's just up the top there. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, well, thank you. Right, guys, sorted. I'm going to get off. All right. Might, might go home and see if I can replicate that gravy. See you soon.